In 2001, the EU set itself the objective of reducing deaths on the road by 50% by 2010. Unfortunately, although there was a reduction of 36%, the original target was not achieved. Studies have shown that a disproportionate number of accidents are caused by drivers outside their country of residence, mainly because of speeding. But sanctions for these traffic offences are rarely enforced across borders, undermining road safety policies. So MEPs in Parliament's Transport Committee are adopting new rules to improve cross-border enforcement of penalties. The new rules will see member states exchange data on traffic offences related to speeding, not wearing a seatbelt, breaking traffic lights and drunk driving. Driving under the influence of drugs and while using mobile phones have also been added to the original list of offences for which Europeans can expect to be penalised even if the breach has taken place abroad. George Bach, EPP Group spokesperson on the new rules, said although the rules didn't go as far as they could have, they would help to make our roads safer. Regulating how exchange data is used and stored was something the group would be especially vigilant on, however. For us as the EPP, this privacy policy is especially important. I think that we have a very sensitive data exchange taking place and we must be sure that this information does not get into the wrong hands and that data is only being stored for a short period. Any data collected must be limited to that strictly necessary and it must not be used for any other purpose than that for which it was collected. Drivers breaking traffic laws in other member states will now receive a letter in their own language informing them they have broken the law and could be prosecuted. So MEPs have insisted that information on the rules of the road in other countries must be made clear to European drivers. The EU has been working on this topic since before 2008, but there was some disagreement between the member states and the European Parliament on the details of the new rules. So the original proposals have been amended in what policymakers hope will be a reasonable compromise that will permit effective enforcement of sanctions for drivers who break the law. Where the new rules would originally have been binding for all member states, now they won't. So their impact on improving road safety will be very much dependent on the will of the member states to implement the changes. There are a number of EU states, such as Great Britain, Ireland and Denmark, which have a so-called opt-out. But we still hope that they will join anyway, that they will take it seriously and adjust their legislation accordingly. The agreement to cooperate in enforcing sanctions across the EU requires a minimum of harmonisation of rules, but not as much as MEPs would have liked. Mr Bach said Parliament's proposals had been much more ambitious than those currently under discussion, but that MEPs are happy there has been some compromise. He said the amended proposals are a step in the right direction and expressed his hope that more ambitious measures will be adopted in the future. Parliament, Council and Commission will now meet for a last round of trialogue discussions before this legislation is put to a vote in plenary. Once finalised, you can expect to receive those speeding find reminders in your letterbox, whatever the country issuing them. To keep up to date on this legislation, visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and safe driving.